Good afternoon all. Today I want to do some work on the penny organ. In particular I want to fit a second oscillator module so that I can generate two sine waves simultaneously and then I can experiment with adding them together and if I shift one 180 degrees out of phase while subtracting them from each other which of course should result in a, a zero uh, flat line. It'll be interesting to see if it does and how long it holds for and uh, then I'll probably put it on the scope and stick it into uh, uh, some speakers and see what we get. So the first thing I need to do is solder another header pin uh, into the second module. The header pins are supplied but they're not soldered. Then I'm going to mount it uh, probably in here and then I've got to find a way of distributing the signals. Now there are four signals that I want distributed uh, in other words, identical copies sent to all of the modules. There will eventually be four. Uh, those are VCC and ground, of course, for power. And then also uh, the orange and yellow lines are clock and data from the SPI interface, which is uh, on some digital pins here. Now the green line is F-Sync, which also works as a chip enable. And if I'm talking to one of the modules, I don't want to be talking to the other one. So I can't duplicate clock data and chip enable. Uh, otherwise they'll both receive the same command. So chip enable will be a unique line. So I'll send a separate chip enable from another digital pin on the Arduino uh, separately to this new module. So the distribution board for the other four signals, VCC ground, clock and data, will probably be just a, a little strip of Vero board. So here's my distribution board. Uh, it's just rows of pins on a little tiny Vero board offcut and then they're just duplicated up there. Just need to check for solder bridges. That would be uh, a bit of a disaster, particularly across VCC and ground, as I'm powering this thing from my PC. But uh, I'll just stick that down with a bit of blue tack, and we'll start distributing signals to these two modules. Right, let's take out uh, these. They're on 8, 9, and 10, so I can duplicate that easily enough. Uh, Yes, and they follow the same colour order. And VCC and ground, I'll do that with some shorter wire, I think, so that'll go onto this uh, distribution board first. So let's do uh, VCC up there, and that can go to the first module. I'm using this, as, uh, this other one as my guide here. Uh, I need another VCC on the next one. And that's VCC for my second module, so that goes there. Then the grounds, I'll use brown for these. Uh, so ground to this one, and a ground on there to uh, this one, and just carry on distributing it like this. So I've got my uh, five volts and ground, VCC and ground, going into my little distribution board. Uh, copies of those then go on to the two oscillator boards. Here's my clock and data on pins eight and nine. I've moved things around a little bit, but it just means changing the numbers in the Arduino sketch. Uh, that goes on to the distribution board and we've got pairs of uh, gray and white because that's eight and nine, just reminds me uh, well, what numbers I'm using going to the two modules. So now all I need is F-Sync now I've called them F-Sync 0 and F-Sync 1, so I'm going to use a 0 and 1 wire. So the 0, what's in my sketch? That's on pin 6, so that'll be there. I'll go to my first board, the nearest board, so that's F-Sync 0. F-Sync 1 is on 7, and that will go to the F-Sync pin on my number 1 board. So that's 0, 1, they're numbered sort of away from the... Arduino. So those are the two uh, enable lines and of course they are separate for the two separate modules. And uh, now I've just made this little board which uh, will take the two audio outputs onto these pins here. I probably shouldn't link the grounds uh, at this point because they're linked here as well and that would just set up a ground loop. Probably wouldn't matter at audio frequencies but uh, it's probably best practice not to do it. Um, a couple of test points for the scope and a ground point for the scope and a couple of points here for the final output. Two resistors here, 10K might be a bit high, 
it might cut the sound level down a bit and uh, a DC blocking capacitor 10 nanofarads I've gone for so let's wire this onto the two audio outputs and start playing with frequencies right I've hooked up my uh, little powered speakers just powered by a couple of batteries uh, to my audio mixer and I just want to check that the existing software for the scale of C works now of course that's only coming out of one of the modules um, probably F-Sync 0 actually, I had to change all the names because I haven't functionized my software so I had to change the names in a lot of places I'm getting some weird effects here like that So something funny is going on. I think it might be um, glitching over into the other module. Uh, not quite sure at the moment, but uh, let's change the software because I want to look at the output from both modules. And now there's just a tone coming out of the other module, I think. Weird. Right, let's see if we can get the first chord out of this thing. So what I'm going to do in case four, and case four is for input four of the touch sensor uh, because I've left zero, one, two and three disconnected at the moment. In here I'm going to do send out this data uh, with an F-Sync zero going low and then immediately follow it by putting in the case, what would it be, four, five, six, seven, the case eight stuff uh, with F-Sync uh, F one going low. Now case eight is the G above C so it'll have a C on one of the modules and a G on the other and we should get a nice first and fifth so let's do that and that has resulted in this which plays two notes the first and the fifth that being the fifth so it's writing to both modules uh, the audio is being mixed together through the two resistors and we have a two note chord it sounds a bit discordant and that's probably because this is using uh, what's it called, equal temperament uh, frequencies which aren't absolutely purely related to each other so we get that slightly discordant uh, first mixed with fifth but uh, mm, that's interesting now I'm having all sorts of difficulties now because uh, mainly it's because I haven't functionized my software so the software is a complete mess, it's very difficult for me to follow what's going on I have managed to get it um, stably playing all the notes and I've put two very similar notes on this bottom key and you can hear that as a phasing sound they're about um, half a hertz apart I suppose so that's about a two second cycle time um, but I think I'm gonna have to quit now the lights going and I do need to functionize this software before I can really move on so uh, for the moment cheerio